so here you see the schematic diagram of induced draft cooling towers so it is similar as a fourth draft cooling tower expect that fan is installed at the top of the tower okay in the last video i explained the force drop cooling towers in a force drop cooling towers we install the fan at the side or a bottom sides okay here we install the fan but in this diagram you see we install the fan at the top of the tower so what is the basic difference in a force drop and induced draft basic difference is the location of the fan okay and the location of the fan is change then its working is little bit change in a force draft what happen we push the air inside the towers here what we do here we are pull the air so when we install the fan at the top of the tower then what happen this fan is suck the air and when the fan is suck the air here the vacuum is creates and due to this vacuum the atmosphere air is enter in a cooling towers through these louvers so air enters the louvers at the side of the tower what is meaning of louvers louvers means it is a space from where the air is enter the air is enter through this air louvers atmospheric air is drawn in by an induced fan so air is drawn by using this induced fan air flow upward opposite to direction of falling water droplets so air is move in a upward direction here you see the air is enter from the bottom and move in the upper direction and hot water from the condenser is supply at the top of the tower here the water nozzles are there and through the water nozzles the hot water is hot water is spray okay and hot water is drop on the packing and the packing is spread the waters so these water droplets is come in the contact means direction of the water is up to down direction of the air is from bottom to up means direction of the water and air is opposite to each others as the two stream interact two stream means water is consider as the one stream air is consider as the other streams so when they are interact a small fraction of the water stream evaporate into the moist air and cools the remaining waters so how this cooling of the water is takes place so when the water and air are come into contact with each others at that times the some quantity of the water is evaporates okay so due to this evaporations of the water the water is cooled and the cold water is collected at the bottom of the cooling towers the cool water is collected at the bottom of the tower and pump back to the condenser moist air discharge from the top of the tower so here you see the cooling water is collected at the bottom and this cool water is again supplied to the condenser and moist air from the cooling tower is supplied to the atmosphere from the top of the tower around 3 to 5% make up water is added to the pond to compensate the water loss due to evaporation means due to evaporations of the water we lost some quantity of the water means we lost 3 to 5% of the water so this 3 to 5% of the water is again added it is called as the make up water okay so this 3 to 5% of the water is added in the bottom of the cooling tower or a cooling pond drip eliminator is provided at the top of the tower to prevent escape of water particles by the air leaving the tower here you see this is the eliminators okay here the name is not mentioned by mistake so this is the drip eliminator the function of the drip eliminator is to absorb the water particles from the air now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit this playlist now i explain the advantages of induced draft cooling towers the coldest water come in a contact with the driest air okay so cold water means 
cold water is available when the air is enters okay because the we spray the water from the top so when the water is moving in the downward direction they are cold at the bottoms okay so this cold as water come in a contact with the driest air and the warm as water comes in the contact with the most humid air in this tower the recirculation of hot humid air is not a major problem okay so in a force draft there is a possibility is that the hot humid air means exhaust air of the cooling tower is again enter through the fans but here this problem is eliminated because the fan is located at the top of the tower larger fan size can be used in a force draft we can use up to the 4 meter size of the fans but here we can use the larger fan size can be used the power consumption per kg of water cool is less compared with force draft fan system means power consumption of the fan is lower compared to the force draft cooling towers initial cost is low due to lower pump capacity and a smaller length of water pipe this tower is capable of cooling through a wide range means for a wider range they are able to give the cooling now this advantage is first this advantage it is not economical up to the capacity of 15000 liter of water per minute for larger quantity the economic shift in the favor of induced draft tower means cooling water is required 15000 liter per minute then we can use the induced draft system capacity is less than 15000 liter per minute then we can use the force draft cooling towers second disadvantage higher power motor is required to drive the fan compared to the force draft fan since it's need to handle hot air of a high specific volume so here the hot air is available so okay in a force draft the fan is installed at the bottom so this fan is handle only the atmospheric air okay but in a induced draft we put the fan at the top of the tower so at the top of the towers the temperature of the air is higher because the air is absorb the heat energy from the waters and temperature is increase and some quantity of the water vapor is also there so here the fan of the induced draft fan is handled the hot air plus water vapor particles in a force draft fan the fan is only handled the air its maintenance cost is high fan bearing need to be cool okay so i i already explained that the in induced draft fan the fan is handle the hot air due to this hot air the bearing temperature is also increase so we need to cool the bearing so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends